Previously on the Chicago Griller, I showed you how to transform ordinary chicken breast and turn it into a Japanese grilling staple, yakitori. However, I did not show you how to make those cute little triangular rice balls on the side, yaki onigiri. So today on the Chicago Griller, I am going to show you how to make some yaki onigiri on the Weber Q. Today, I've gone ahead and made 3 quarters cup of rice. Make as much or as little as you'd like, but just let it cool off so that you could handle it with your hands. Once the rice has cooled off so you can safely handle it, grab a small glass of water, dip your hands into it, and make sure your hands are moist. This will prevent the rice from sticking to your hands. Now we are going to form the rice balls. First, just grab a fistful of rice and set the rest to the side. Then, just squeeze the rice in your hand as tightly as you can just to pack in all those grains together. Again, pack this as tight as you can. Once the rice is adequately packed, begin trying to shape it into a triangle shape. There we go. That looks approximately like a triangle. A little bit ugly, but a triangle nonetheless. And we'll just put that aside and repeat. Alternatively, you could be fancy fancy and use an onigiri press. Mine was a gift from my girlfriend who found it in a Hyakuen 100 yen store in Japan. To make it easier to handle, I'm going to line the onigiri press with saran wrap, then tightly pack the rice inside of the press. And of course, once the press is filled with rice, I'll take the cap and simply press down. Now, remove the cap, flip over, and remove your perfectly formed onigiri. Now that you see that, I'm sure you want to buy your own press. You could get these on Amazon instead of a Yakuen store. Anyways, now you can see I have formed five onigiris from about three quarters cup of rice. Now to prepare the onigiri for the grill, we're going to take some olive oil and use a finger and rub each surface of each onigiri. I'll fast forward ahead. We'll turn these around and do the same thing on the opposite side. Just be careful, the onigiri can be a little bit fragile. They will shed a few grains of rice, but that's okay. And once you've oiled all sides of the onigiri, we're ready to grill. And as you would expect for fried rice balls, we have to swap out the right side grill grates with a griddle. And once the griddle is in place, you're gonna preheat the grill to low. Once the grill is preheated, you're going to go ahead and place the yaki onigiri directly on the griddle. Listen to that sizzle. That's a lot more sizzle for rice than you would have expected, right? And now once all the onigiri is on the griddle, we're going to take either tare sauce or just plain old soy sauce and baste the top of each onigiri. Now, I've mentioned tare sauce before. You could either buy it or you can make it yourself. If you want to make it, check out my tsukune video, which I'll link above. Now, we'll just close the lid and cook this for about three minutes. Three minutes later, we're gonna check on our onigiri and give them all a flip. We are gonna be looking for a little bit of charring and look at that, that's perfect. Got some good marks on that ugly one. All these are looking pretty good so far. And now once they're all flipped, you're gonna grab your tare or your soy sauce and go ahead and baste the second side. And as you can see, per my girlfriend's suggestion, I have switched to using a spoon. It's much faster and I can get a lot more onto the rice so that it can soak in to each onigiri. And now we're gonna close the lid and cook it for a final three minutes. And six minutes of total cook time are up. We are ready to just pull these off the grill. All you have to do is plate these up and serve them with Japanese toppings like seaweed, sesame seeds, or furikake. These yaki onigiri also go perfect with yakitori, which you'll see I grilled on the left side of my grill. And so check it out. Here they are together, yaki onigiri and yakitori. Huey is observing with a high level of interest here. Itadakimasu! And so, 
That is how you grill up Yaki Onigiri on a Weber Q equipped with a griddle. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever had Yaki Onigiri or if you plan on trying out this recipe. Anyways, as always, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button, commented, or subscribed. If you have the time, definitely check out some of the other content on this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you all again next time. Take care, and bye now.